talking tropics, unfortunately, that time of year continues. And uh, it was warning earlier on this week to keep an eye on everything going on in the tropics. And it does look like something has developed and uh, eventually going to be pushing its way into the Gulf of Mexico. So let's talk about Tropical Depression 16. This is where it is just off the coast of Nicaragua right now. Very, very close. Uh, to the shoreline and this is going to keep it from developing and you know, really any kind of structure now is expected to become a tropical storm. Tropical storm Nate is uh, what we're going to be headed towards and that could be as early as tomorrow morning as it does work its way northwards. It's got to go past Nicaragua up uh, northwards of Honduras before it gets out into the open ocean again and this is where we could see it uh, strengthen just a little bit. So something to watch for winds are already at 35 miles an hour. So that is going to be right around that tropical storm force uh, wind. However, you got to find the center of circulation. I imagine the hurricane hunter is going to be doing a lot of work here over the next uh, couple of days. Something uh, that was in the news recently in regards to funding. A good article that Rob posted the other day. I would highly recommend checking that out. Here's what the forecast looks like though. Works its way up through towards the Yucatan. This is going to be by the weekend. Everything is going to happen very, very fast with this system. Usually we talk about it for seemingly weeks before we start to see any of the impacts. We're talking impacts that could be possible. If we see any, there's still a lot of question marks, but we could be talking that by the time we even get through the weekend. This takes us up close towards the weekend as it pushes its way through the Yucatan and then onwards into the Gulf of Mexico, where it, it is expected to strengthen eventually into a Category 1 storm just before it makes landfall. There are a couple of different things to know, and I'm going to pause it right here because this is where we start to see a lot of the question marks. We've seen steadily this track propagate its way westward just a little bit uh, over the last several days. That's what we're going to be watching for. Does this continue to trend its way west, and does it hold a lot of its structure? There's also a front that's going to be coming through right around Monday, Tuesday, and that could impact the system as well. So speed is going to be very important with this uh, because that is going to determine uh, when that front does arrive right now. National Hurricane Center is going to bring this up towards the mouth of the Mississippi. That's going to be right around uh, early sometimes Sunday morning, but notice that the cone does stretch over towards the Atchafalaya Basin. So something to watch again that this if this thing keeps propagating its way westwards. I did want to point this out. These are the spaghetti charts, but it gives you an idea of the spread of what we're looking at and how much uncertainty still exists. You see outliers from Lake Charles all the way through uh, towards Panama City, but you have two clusters, one closer towards New Orleans, the other closer towards Mississippi. So Again, a lot of questions remain. It's going to happen very quickly. It will be important to make sure that you keep up with the forecast here over the next couple of days. Well, after all that bad news, some good news for you. Some of you guys are waking up to celebrate a birthday this morning. If that's you from all of us at GMA, have a very happy birthday. Happy birthday.